Hello friends, my name is Michelle and welcome to this very exciting video! Um, I've never attempted anything like this before, but I am super excited to remedy that today because today you're going to go online shopping with me. Online book shopping, I should specify. <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't bought any books in a very long time. I bought one book over the summer to celebrate it. I got a new job. I <laughs> bought a book impulsively, even though I shouldn't have because money has been tight this year, but I just got my first proper paycheck from my new job the other week and now I can finally allow myself to do some damage. We're still not where we want to be, but I can definitely afford to buy five, six, seven books at one time and I'm so excited. Like I said, I haven't been buying any books at all in person, online, whatsoever, which has been good for my physical TBR on the one hand, but on the other hand, I am craving I am craving new books in my life. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be shopping on Amazon. Um, this is where I usually shop. I live in the middle of Europe. I buy off of the German Amazon because that's what ships to me. Um, I don't have good experience with Blackwells, for example. I once waited half a year for a book to arrive. And the rest is kind of not available to me because of shipping. So Amazon is really the only option that I have here. I don't have a library that stocks English books and I don't have any local bookstores that do English books other than a couple of secondhand stores that don't really sell the type of English language books that I read, if you know what I mean. It's mostly like Cormac McCarthy, um, John Irving, you know, that type of stuff that I don't really read anymore. So. We're gonna be shopping on Amazon today. I do have one or two books that I know I want to buy, but the rest is honestly up in the air and my budget is around 100. <laughs> I'm going for around 100. We'll see what happens, um, if I'll be lenient or not. We are on Amazon and the one book that I know I want to get is actually Yellow Face. I have been desperate to get my hands on Yellow Face, but I own every single Art Quam book. Um, physically so i needed to wait for the time when i'm able to purchase it for myself especially because only the hardcover is out still and it's pretty expensive it's 21 euros this is my splurge of the video there might be a second splurge i'm thinking but this is definitely something that i want so i'm just going to straight up go add to the basket the way i shop on amazon is i'm going to add a bunch of stuff into my basket and then we're going to go through the basket and then eliminate some things i usually have like two or three hundred worth of books in my basket and then I weed it down until I get to the price that I can afford. Um, that's just how I roll. Another thing that I really want to check out today with this specific shop is the book by Joelle Wellington. I read her short story in The Sunken Souls, I think, All The Sunken Souls, and I am Yes, All These Sunken Souls is right here. And I am desperate to read more from her because that short story was literally my favorite thing that I have ever, ever read. Um, the pa Is the paperback out? The paperback is out and it looks so pretty. <gasps> well, okay, it's going into the basket. I think there was one more thing that I wanted to look at, but what was it? Oh, the new Isabel Cañas is out. Um, the Vampires of El Norte. And I wanted to look at that. Well, that's not... Yes. But it's 24. Okay, well, we're gonna add it to the basket and see what happens. Honestly. And we'll see. Um, another way that I sometimes shop on Amazon is I'm going to look for a book that I really enjoyed and look at what other people are buying and what other people are enjoying from the same category. So, for example, the first thing that I can think of is Lesbiana's Guide. To Catholic school because that is a five-star YA queer romance for me. I, it's not really a romance but contemporary coming-of-age um, book that by the way has one of the most gorgeous covers ever. And we're going to scroll a little bit <laughs> and we're going to look at You Might Also Like. So we will see if we find anything in here. But so far I'm not seeing much DBH. ADHD? Okay, sure. I mean that's probably something I should purchase but... <laughs> Okay, it's amazing how much this is giving me just nothing. Um, books that you may like. Okay, now we are arriving. 
Dead in the Dark, see, that is something that I probably should purchase because that has been on my TBR for years and I just feel like I need to read it physically, so I still haven't read it. You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight is something that I really want to read, but I have a different book by Kaylin Barron on my TBR shelf that I haven't read it for like two years at this point, so I feel like I need to get to that first. Um, Hell Followed With Us, I do own. I haven't read it, but I own it. <laughs> um, what about the rest of these? I read Penfall. It was a cool time in my opinion. I don't really want to read Grady Hendrix. I read um, I read what was that book called? The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires or something. I didn't like it. I thought it was a huge what savior uh, trope but I did not like it. I read Tell Me I'm Worthless. It was also a time. I might go into that book from here if I don't find anything and look from there because that is something <laughs> you know. Ooh, Chlorine is my favorite book of the year, probably, if I'm being completely honest with you. Let me just go into Chlorine. I love that these two are connected, even though they're completely different, but, you know. Okay, books that you may like. Day of Fall and Night, five stars, loved it. Um, the Salt Girls Heavy, liked it, it was fine. Otessa Moshfeg, again, I have two books by Otessa Moshfeg on my shelf, and I need to read those first. Thinking Fish I read one book and hated it, <laughs> so I don't think we're going to go for that right now. Again, Tell Me I'm Worthless, very valid. I guess they know that I would enjoy that because I did. See, Sylvia Marta Garcia is another one that I already have a book by on my shelves, and I want to read that first. I, who have never known men, I feel like I recognize the title from somewhere. Oh, The Lighthouse Witches has such beautiful cover, but I don't think I want to read that. Mm, from here, I kind of want to go to I Who Have Never Known Men. It just really speaks to me right now. Um, what is this about, even? Discover the haunting, heartbreaking, post-apocalyptic tale of female friendship and intimacy set in a deserted world? Deep underground, 39 women are kept in isolation in a cage. Above ground, a world awaits. Okay, it seems like one of those stories that are not going to include non-binary people or trans women, but they're going to try and be commentary of uh, what it's like to be a female. So I don't think I'm gonna go for that. I mean, if you know that that book is not like that, please let me know not in the comments. I'm just not interested in reading anything like that. Um, tell me I'm worthless. Let's go to here and look what it wants to recommend me. You're probably shouting at me like, Michelle, you say you wanted to read this book five years ago and you still haven't picked it up. And that is very valid of you. I feel like kind of, I feel like we're kind of in a, going in a circle here because this is all of the same stuff that I've already read or that we've already seen, which is not my favorite thing ever. Yeah, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I was correct. That's amazing. See, I would get Brother, but I've heard from valuable sources that it sucks. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, okay, this is not really bringing me anywhere, to be honest. So I guess we're going to have to expand our search, I suppose. I don't have a wish list. I don't keep up with that type of stuff. So that's not going to happen. Masters of Death honestly looks so freaking good. That cover is literally murdering me. Continue series you've started. Um, is that what the cover looks like? Has, when when was that announced? The Angel of Indian Lake. <laughs> I just discovered something incredible here. Is that what it looks like? That is gorgeous. April 2024. Well, heck, there goes my 2024 TBR. We, 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 we've started it officially. Good lord. Okay. Um, customers who bought this item also bought what? <laughs> what did they buy? No, no, mm, a USB port. Okay, sure. <laughs> no, okay, the body keeps the score. Nope, uh, nope, 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 nope. See, I'm very picky actually when it comes to me coming. Ooh, this is something I want to read. I have read so much about this and I really want to read it, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my basket. I want to read it so bad actually. Thank you for reminding me, whatever. That reminded me of a different book that came out this year, I think, and that is Adelaide. Okay, thank you. I was like, not that Adelaide. <laughs> but they still only have the hardcover and I already splurged on two. Shh. Okay, later. Mayhaps later. 
mayhaps later. I'm trying to think of like different genres. Spooky season is coming up and I recently read a Riley Sager that I really liked and gave it five stars. We don't know what happened to me. So now I'm like, maybe I should pick up something else. My dear friend Angel always tells me to read The Last Time I Lied. She recommended that book to me about two years ago, but before she knew that I actually had read Riley Sager and didn't like it, she recommended me this. Let's look at the paperback together. Um, The Last Time I This cover is so dramatic. <laughs> this cover is so freaking dramatic. Um, sure, I'll buy it. Come to me, I guess. <laughs> I think I even edited it twice accidentally. Um, and then I also want something that is horror because I do still have horror on my shelves, but I always can do with more horror than I have. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to think of horror releases for this year and I cannot really think of anything that would still be good to have. <laughs> It's really good to have on my shelf. It doesn't even make sense. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm sure you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to think what people have been reading this year in terms of horror, but I cannot really think of anything that I am interested in, to be completely honest with you, when it comes to that. What about something completely different, aka Divine Rivals? <laughs> Do I know why I want this book? Absolutely not. Do I read Romanticy ever? No, but maybe this is the time. Is the paper bag out? Listen, I always go for the cheaper option. Don't even look at me. No, 2025? I don't even know whether I'll be alive in 2025. What do you mean? Okay, I'm adding this to the basket. It's going to happen. So we have romanticy <laughs> in our basket, but we're still missing horror for some reason. And I cannot think of anything that I want. Um, let me try and think. What are 2023? Um, book releases in the horror category that I would like to read. I cannot really think of anything, to be completely honest with you. We have fantasy covered, we have romance covered, we have... what else do we have? Let us check the basky. Let us check the basky. We have fantasy, we have thriller, romance, we do have horror, I guess. We have whatever that is because I don't want to know anything about that. And we have like general fiction. These I have in my buy later, I guess, but I'm not particularly interested in those right now. That's why they are buy later. But I only have six in my basket at, and what are we at, money-wise? Um, where can you tell me? 92. We're doing good. We can do one more book. Now, just to think of that book. The one thing that I'm missing from here, sorely, is something queer, to be honest with you. What is another... Um, I recently read Going by Coastal by Dahlia Adler, and it was a grand time. I really, really liked that book. So I'm going to go through Going by Coastal, and I'm going to look at what other people enjoyed when I, in terms of this type of book. Books that you might like, but based on this, I would like books based on this, but no, apparently that's not going to happen. So what are some queer... I looked... Oh my god, are you serious with me right now? I looked at The Lesbian's Guide to Catholic School, and I didn't look at... Oh my god. Do you know what I didn't look at? At the Luis Ortega Survival Club, maybe, by the same author that I really want to read? Maybe that's a good option for something that I want? What do you think? What would you say? You obviously have the hardback. Do they have the paperback? No, good to know. But the hardback is not that bad. So I think I'm going to add this. Only two left in stock. That's fate. I guess you could say. And do I want anything else? Let me ask my trusted um, advisor, aka my girlfriend, if she knows that I want something and I'm just not thinking of it. So I think I'm okay with this. Let's go over what we have, okay? <laughs> we have the Luis Ortega Survival Club. Do I know what it's about? I mean, kind of. I know that the main character is autistic. I know that it's queer. And I know that it's about a group of teenagers who have all been either assaulted or bullied i'm not sure on the details by the same dude so that's what that's about then we have divine rivals literally just because jen from jen Egaton has been raving about it and it's like her favorite book of the year and even though i don't read romanticy i want to read this <laughs> so badly so we're doing that then we have the last time i lied by riley sager because angel told me i would like it and i recently rated riley sager riley sager with five stars so we're gonna do that 
Then we have Open Water because I've been hearing about this for a very long time <clears throat> and it seems like a really good um, mix of romance and literary and I've been kind of experimenting with romance this year because I only ever read sapphic romance and I want to, <laughs> you know, broaden my horizons which actually reminds me of something else so it might not be done yet. <laughs> then I have Empires of El Norte because I really like The Hacienda so I want to read Isabel Cañas's new release. Um, Joel Wellington for obvious reasons like we talked about and Yellow Face also for um, obvious reasons. But then we have um, a certain Kosoko Jackson that has some romances out and some other genres as well. But this specifically, A Dash of Salt and Pepper, has been attracting me ever since I saw it in Books and Laws video last year. They only have the paperback for 16. Do they have anything else by him? I know that he also, I think it's this one, where it's like a time travel -y weird thing. They have a hardcover, for, okay, whatever. Um, paperback, oh, that's beautiful. So I think I'm going to add this one to the basket. And then we're going to see if I feel guilty about it or not when I see the 117. I do feel kind of guilty about it. So I guess we're gonna do without this one because I want the other one more anyway. I do want Dash of Salt and Pepper more, but I cannot afford it right now. So I think we're gonna delete this one. It's okay. And we're gonna be left with what I said before. And I feel pretty good about that. So I have seven books in my basket. I feel reinvigorated, like I can be alive again. I can buy books again if I want to. I'm probably not gonna buy any for a long time. That was my first book shopping in like at least half a year, which is a long time. And I think even before, even then, I think it was my girlfriend covering most of it because we usually split our book orders because we both want to read the same stuff. But I wanted to do this one. I know she'll probably want to read at least half of them, but I just wanted to do this one myself because I finally got a paycheck and I can finally afford to buy a book and be a bookish person again in this sense at least. Uh, this by the way is not in any way shape or form trying to say that the only way you can enjoy books is to buy books or that without buying books you're not a reader. It's just something that I really needed for my soul and that's what I'm prioritizing here on my own channel. So that's what that is. Um, thank you so much for being here. It was honestly very exciting for me. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you think that I should check out something else. I have the funds now to actually do that, so please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. If you don't want to leave any type of comment like that, leave me a shopping card <laughs> in the crotch in the comments i would also love that i think it's kind of funny but thank you so much for being here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like it would really help a lot it helps these tiny channels so much i know i say it almost every video but it's honestly so freaking true like you would not you cannot even imagine how much even just like one extra person clicking subscribe helps with the buffoonery that is the youtube algorithm <laughs> so i really do appreciate every single person and yeah i'm gonna go have pizza now i think because i deserve it and thank you so much for being here again gosh this is exciting okay bye